Now check it out, folks. Now listen, after reading that thumbnail, I know you had to push on this video, right? I know you guys are thinking like, hey, peanut butter and bacon jam. But that's right, we're doing a peanut butter and bacon jam cheeseburger. So let's get it. Oh, and by the way, this video is sponsored by Shopify. Now let's get it. Okay, so listen, bacon jam, right? Now, you know, I put out a video, had the bacon jam on the burger before. You know what I mean? That was fire. You guys can, I'll put the link up here so you guys can click on it and see how it's done. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and make that in the inside. I was gonna fire up my grill, but I just said, you know what? Let me make that inside. I'm gonna finish everything else on my flat top. Okay, folks, so look, I, like I said, I elected to go ahead and just make this in the, you know, inside, right? Cause I'm using my cast iron. Could have done everything outside on my uh, flat top or griddle, right? So. I got a large yellow onion. I got another one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and dice this down. I'm not gonna bore you guys. Don't forget, click that link and you guys can see how I made the bacon jam. Super easy, well worth doing. And other than that, I'm not finna bore you. Let's go. Okay, folks, I'm gonna give you guys some real eye candy if you hadn't already seen that. You see this right here? This is bacon jam, folks. Look at the consistency, not overcooked. Got that onion, that bacon. And listen, I made this one a little, got a little spice to it. Okay, so I want you guys to look. This is 8515, right? So let's go ahead, get this going. This that Angus. Let's go ahead and start forming some patties. All right, so what we're getting ready to do is right now, we get ready to make our patties, right? So this is how I do this. It already came one pound. This is like a little bit over a pound. If you divide that up like this in the quarters, and this right here would be what? A quarter pound, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and form my ball, right? And I'm not getting ready to do a whole lot of kneading or shaping, you know? So this right here is cool. Now, for you guys that like to go ahead and uh, season your beef, you can do that. But for me, I'm gonna do it this way. Same way we get it from everywhere else. You know what I mean? I promise you it's gonna taste good, but we don't wanna overpower it, right? I'm gonna put this meat right here, right? And I'll put one right there. And then we'll put these other two right here and here, right? We don't wanna do nothing. We wanna let it go ahead and sit on there for about Without me touching it, we want to do that for about, uh, I'm going to say about 10, 10 seconds, right? It hadn't heated up enough to release none of the uh, fat in the inside for me to squish it out. But this is the way I do that, right? So I got some parchment paper, right? As you guys can see, smoking and grilling with AB. That's my press. Hey, let me just say this now. Thank you guys for making these a sellout. Listen, they just finished making some more of these. And I'm about to pick up another two or 300. Actually, to be exact, I'm going to pick up 276 more so i'm gonna have them you guys now we're gonna take this and then we're just gonna take it and then we're gonna push it down all right fam look this is my burger rug this right here is why everybody want to get a burger from myself right we're gonna do it just like they do when you come up to the trailer or what else if you go to a, ha a hamburger stand we're just gonna season them just the way you see now to give a little explanation of how to use the griddle right let's just draw an imaginary line right through here Right, everything on this side, this is my hot zone. This is where I got my fire and this is where I'm getting my heat from. And then when everything is done, after I put cheese and all that and stack them on top, I move everything on this side just to keep everything warm. This is my cool zone, right? Super easy, simple, same way we do, indirect and non-direct, you know what I mean? Indirect and direct, excuse me. Same way we do with the grill, it's the same principle. When we're using the charcoal grill, it's the same principle using the flat top. Now that we got the patties on, we're waiting for those to get ready. Listen, this would be a great time for me to talk about Shopify. Who else better to talk about it but me? Now, I'm gonna tell you guys my journey and how it has helped me. Listen, it has done everything for me. It's a commerce platform that'll help you manage your business. And when I tell you that, listen, you guys, a lot of you guys out there, and I want to say thank you to everybody who's been out there supporting me with, you know, buying the products, right? But all of that has been ran and managed through Shopify. So really one of the things is, I'll start off with this right here. Listen, I love the fact that it has helped me grow my business. And I'm gonna tell you how. Look, it has gave me the appearance and I don't want to play that down. Listen, it made me look like large retail shop, right? The ease of looking for what you want, clicking the button, you know, checking out, just the whole process has, has just been flawless. Not to mention that, listen, Shopify will help you manage your orders. It, it, you know, the integration with your shipping. Listen, you can break them down by category, you know, what, you know, by product, all of that. Listen, it gives you a peace of mind and to know that I can tell you now, it just works perfectly. 
they got this globe, right? You see that globe? Listen, that globe right there, you can see when people are buying, where they buying from, which region, which country. You can see, and then they have the tools to look on on the back end. You can find out how many people stored it in they, you know, store. They coming back later. You can do follow-up emails and all of that. So go ahead and try my free trial. Listen, you guys can see the link. It's on the screen right now. You got to try it. Because listen, we all got something that we do at home that's, you know, we might be selling to our friends or something like that. So why not turn your passion into a real business with Shopify? Now that we over here, we getting ready to make this amazing sauce, right? I say it's amazing because listen, one of my subscribers told me about this. You know what I mean? Uh, me and him become uh, good friends you know off of the channel his name is Gerald I don't want to beat up his last name Gerald K most of you guys know him and you see him in the Friday's premiere and the Sunday's premiere you know what I mean this is my guy hey chief we finna hook up man but this we didn't already made it once to make sure to verify that we like it now I'm finna expose it to the world I hope you didn't give it to me for that reason to keep it a secret follow me folks don't forget the printable recipe along with his uh this, this amazing sauce right here this burger sauce listen it's all on my website smoking and grilling with ab.com and that's w-i-t-a-b.com right so now we're just gonna go ahead and put a little mayo in here and then I want you guys to pay attention look I got that dupe folks had to go out and search find out it's at the other grocery store that I go to so listen if you guys out here Albertson's got it you see we ain't got no helmets because helmets are best foods guess what folks I hate to put a disappointment in your face, but same thing. So you can remove that. You know what I mean? So that, now we're getting ready to add a little bit of sweet relish. I did go ahead and order the salad cube, you know, dress, uh, pickled relish, right? So much better. So it'll be here probably tomorrow. All right, so now we want to get a tablespoon, you know, of adobo sauce, right? I don't want to purify, which I didn't before when I made it. I just did it like this, right? So this is a teaspoon. All right, we just go in here and get some. You know what I mean? This is where we're gonna get that flavor from, folks. All right, then we put a little apple cider vinegar in here. Now, don't forget, I'm gonna give you guys the, the measurement. You know what I mean? Uh, so you guys can do it. I just been cooking for so long. If somebody tell me what it is, I know what to put inside of it, right? Uh-oh, I'm over here making a mess. All right, and then we're gonna add a little sugar. Now we're going to add a little garlic powder. All right, put that there. Ah, there we go, a little onion powder. And a little paprika. I do have a whisk here, but I need to get everything worked up off of the edge. That's why I like having the right tools, you know? Spatula do it. Let you know everything that's mixed and what's not mixed. Now we're going to add a half a cup of about a sweet onion. All right, see about a half. I like onion, so even if I went a little bit more, I'm good with it. So now we add the cheese on. This became a warm day. I had the cheese out so long. But anyway, what I'm doing is I'm doubling this up, right? I can't even really separate them, so how I got them is how I got them. You know what I mean? We'll let these stay on here just a little bit longer. You know, pick up a little heat, start to melt. Then we'll move everything over to the cools. Don't forget the name of this video is peanut butter and bacon jam, right? So. You guys know, let's bring that Dukes over here. Let's take it. Let's get a little mayo. Right while we melting that cheese. All right, we wanna put a little bit of this on here. Now I want you guys to tell me down in the comment section below, did you know you can use mayo? You know, to toast your buns or are you guys still using, uh, you still using butter? All right? I'm telling you right now the way to go. I'm trying to get everybody kitchen certified and backyard certified, right? You let me know which one is you. All right, that's what we're looking for, right? Let's check the rest of these. Those are they good. And those are good right there. Let's go ahead and check the buns, top buns. Oh, yeah. So, take this one off. This one right here, we're going to turn this one into a star. We'll put that one there, right? The rest of these, we just stack them, all right? Stack them here. All right, so check this out. Now, folks, we finna build, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of Gerald sauce right here. Oh, it's got them onions in it too, folks. Now, I want you guys to make it just like this. Let me know what other applications would you use it for? You know what I mean? We're having the onions in it. I guess we would probably use it as a burger sauce. You know what I mean? But I'm only gonna put so much of this on here. You know why? Because we gotta do, look. Let me move this over here. Because we gotta get a little bacon jam on here. Now, let me go ahead and give me a spoon for that. 
we get some of this bacon jam. Ooh, wee. Now you guys have seen me make this. Get you a little eye candy. Don't forget this video with the link is on my website, so it's printable. You guys got a guide. You know what I mean? You got a couple of guides now to make it. I don't want to overpower it. Listen, because we got to put some of that peanut butter on here, right? So this. Now I'm using Jiffy. This the creamy version. I know some of y'all like the. What is that? And I don't put no whole lot on here. We peanut butter is strong enough, right? But you hear that? Listen, when it's toasted just right, folks. And I got it. We're gonna be doing a lot of talking down in the description box. So I'm gonna be looking for this video here. Listen, me and everybody else gonna be going ahead and uh, you know, answering these comments. So we got that. Now we come over here and oh, look at that right there, folks. Now these are some big patties. Ooh, it's hot. Ooh. We just put it on just like that, right? Now y'all tell me, what would you like to have today for lunch? You know what I mean? Just a little bit more. This is really gonna be mine. This is the one I'm getting ready to put on the top. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just put this like this. And it's like having a girl, you know, you know what I'm saying? And she got a short skirt on and you're looking at it, you're like, man, do she got, where's the bottom part of her dress at? You know what I mean? That's that bun, but trust me, folks, it's there. All right, folks, look, I ain't got no whole lot of buildup or nothing like that. Listen, I made it. We made a quick, you know, a couple of little burgers. We had them for lunch, just checking out the sauce, right? This combination right here is just way over the top. Listen, just the, the seasoning, the sauce, you know what I mean? The pepper jack. Look, a lot of y'all don't be using that pepper jack, but look, you know what? Check this out. I am not finna over talk this. Let's eat, folks. Cheers. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know I'm gonna get all the comments everybody gonna talk about. Man, I ain't putting peanut butter on mine, but let me just ask you this. If you're new, I got it. You might be thinking like, man, I don't know this cat, I don't trust him. But I got 2.8 million people out there to tell you that they come back and write on there in them comments and say, hey, these recipes be fine. So for all y'all that been around, trust your boy. Make it just like I gave it to you. And I can't take no credit for that sauce. You know what, that's all uh, Gerald K. And you know how uh, Denzel Washington said in training day, my, Yes, sir. Hey, with that being said, listen, talk to me down in the comment section below and let's go over these comments. Hurry up, make it, and then come back and let's open up a dialogue. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there there's a channel out here to simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? I was about to take this off, but after having all them juices and them sauces and the jam, all of that, you know, running out of there, I'm going to leave it on as a bib. I'm out. Peace.